Thanks everyone for joining us. Kai getting a little excited with the ball. I think he has played this game before. And here's the send to a ball. There's got the ball. Quick out. Straight into the bite. Nice drive. Out command, just a little bit slow. Here come the jackets. Jeremy fending off. Oh, he switched to Adrian and made it over the jacket onto the bicep. Very nice. There's the whistle recall. Here comes the muzzle, is going on. There we go, first leg of the muzzle healing. Good attention, good position and attitude there. Here comes the right turn. bumping there. Ty waiting for the recall command to go over the jump, through the tunnel, into a sit. Now back through the tunnel. And to the muzzle attack. Very nice. Very good muzzle attack. M moving forward a lot, trying to bite. Stop fighting the dog. Decoy stops. Mike tells Kai to down. Worked out perfect. Back over the jump. Oh. Kai trying to go back into a muzzle fight again. The second whistle, or the second recall. The first one was a command, so this will be a change of commands. There's another muzzle fight. Transport to the
Mike and Kai making their way to the car. We'll get into the truck. Quite a bit of forging there. Game of Frisbee. No problems on round one. Here comes round two. Before we call the dog out of the car and send to a guard. There's the recall whistle. And, ooh, I don't know if that was a bite, but he did hit him pretty good. Good bite command. No issues with the passiveness. Here comes the drive. Second whistle, Kai does not know where Dad is. Here comes the call off from three decoys. Very nice. and a tired Kai making their... Are those uh, forearm tattoos to help you uh, extend? We run out of stuff. It's the last time. It's getting dry out here, right? It's good. All right. You ready? Yeah, ready. You're not ready. I'm ready. Go on I'm here. going on and get it. I'm even ready. All right, Jeremy is running to Where's the, the left tent. Uh, Mike mouth, is... Mouth, mouth. Encouraging Kai to look at him instead of following Jeremy to the left tent. This will make it easier for Mike to send Kai to the tent that's on the right. Also notice the way he turned. So all things that are going to help Kai get to the right tent. Guard! We know he's guarding because he's barking. Very nice. A remote transport coming up. Transport! There they are. Here comes the water. Very nice transport here. Going straight backwards. with the water, but he did bite oh. John instead of the decoy that was attacking him with the water. You go over there. Go on. Get, get out of here. Very nice performance from Mike and Kai. Why are you running? You got somewhere to be? 
Does he hurt me? For a bite. Is he playing cops and He's robbers? going to the wrong tent. Hi. He's getting whistled back. Here he comes. For attempt two. Attempt two. There we go. Correct. There's the fend. Very nice. Quick out and return. You guys are too early. Now it's time. Mike and Ties. Protection three routine. Good job, Mike. This is the last team of the weekend. This is a three day trial for the 2022 PSA Nationals. This is the last dog. The sun is on the way down. It is a good... Like very nice to see from beginning to end, um, power and uh, and precision. There's a lot of technical elements in this. So I uh, scoots a little bit on that stay um, while Andrew's uh, manhandling you. Uh, four out of five points. I'll be able to get the points now since this is our last team. The send to the uh, ball. Uh, it was a five-point exercise. He goes out to retrieve the ball. The attack is called for, uh, and quickly the dog lets go of the ball, comes in, uh, very powerfully handles the, uh, uh, the attack. Uh, so five out of five uh, for, the, uh, for the courage test. Uh, grip could have been just a bit fuller there. The strike was powerful, full points, five out of five. Uh, dog takes the drive, five out of five, and the out guard, uh, very clean, uh, very focused, five out of five. On the command to re-attack, dog immediately goes to bite, um, and he decides after a couple of strikes on the first one, he's like, let me try this one over here. Uh, he goes in, uh, and after a little bit of uh, fending, uh, he, he makes it in fairly uh, fairly quickly. So uh, the command to re-attack was a five-point exercise. Uh, the active fended portion was more or less Will the dog uh, make it in the allotted time? Because now we have a time constraint of about 20 seconds where the dog has to make it in. Uh, he does that well with him. Um, so four and a half out of five there on the active fended. And then the next thing that was judged, the grip was not judged, the drive, none of that, it was the out and return, uh, which was uh, fully clean there, five out of five. 47 and a half out of 50 on that first scenario. <laughs> Second scenario, muzzle jumps. So the healing, really nice and powerful, and uh, probably about as nice as it can look in a muzzle. Uh, four and a half out of five. The stay next to the decoy uh, was just a two-point exercise. Uh, he gets into the sit very quickly and stays there the whole time. Uh, so two out of two. The next thing that was judged was the two obstacles. The tunnel and the jump were both five-point exercises. The sit was a five-point exercise. The dog goes tunnel, jump, hits the sit very nicely. I took a half a point. Yeah, you know, if I'm being nitpicky, he could have been a little quicker into the sit, but uh, he does it uh, very nicely there. Then we handle the dog backwards. Uh, we go right back through the obstacles correctly, uh, the jump, the tunnel. Um, 
We're both three-point exercises. And then the dog goes into that first muzzle fight. A really nice, powerful muzzle fight, which is what I want to see. The dog is going in. He's striking hard. Uh, the decoy is, uh, is, uh, is fighting him back. And you can tell the dog is serious about it. Uh, the down uh, comes next. Dog goes right into the down. We have one extra command on the recall back. Uh, the recall back through the jumps uh, was a three-point exercise, and I just judged the recall portion, right? So, but he also did the jumps, I believe, on that one as well. We get to the second muzzle fight. Everybody is a little close to the window on the second muzzle fight, including you, and uh, you got out of the way uh, quickly. Uh, and then we get another nice quality muzzle fight. That was a seven-point exercise, six and a half out of seven. Uh, and then we get a very nice uh, uh, remote transport to the judge. That was a three-point exercise. 47 out of 50 on that scenario. I'm going to skip the call off and go to the final scenario. All right, on the final scenario, the environmentals. We get uh, a little extra handling there on the first send. Uh, so four out of five there. The guard was correct. The remote transport was correct. The guard was a 10 second uh, guard, which we were counting. It was a five point exercise. The remote transport a seven point exercise. Uh, the attack out of the remote transport. Uh, I take a point and a half because the dog bit the original uh, decoy uh, in that situation. If the dog comes on to the um, uh, attacking decoy, I gave, I was able to give more points. Uh, so we lose a point and a half there. It was five and a half out of seven. The out and guard, again, very clear, very powerful guarding, uh, three out of three. Now we have to send to the second uh, tent where we have our environmentals. The uh, second send requires uh, an extra command there. Uh, three and a half out of five, the dog goes in, strikes perfectly, grip, uh, could be just a little bit fuller, four out of five, and the out return there. Uh, The only reason I had them play frisbee was so that you guys had something to watch while we were counting a fairly long stay in the car. That's it. But I was entertained, you know. Uh, the, uh, the sand out to guard, this was really hard, right? You got two decoys basically in front of you. They're not helping you at all. And he comes right out and goes right where he's supposed to go, um, goes into the guard. Uh, so the send a guard there, uh, I, I get full points there. It's a six-point exercise. There's a commanded bite, and uh, we're counting about eight seconds or so with the commanded bite before the drive happens. Dog stays uh, powerfully in the grip. Drive. Um, he gets a little bound up there in the corner on the recall, right? So that recall was a five-point exercise that took half the points there because it took three commands to get him back to you. But very patient handling in that situation. Uh, he brings him all the way back. Now we send down field, and my instructions in the handler meeting were to call off in the vicinity of the cone. We get a call off that's a bit early, okay? But in my opinion, it's a call off that's in the vicinity of the cone. So, I didn't hit you hard on the points though, okay? So that's a 20 point exercise. I took eight out of 20. So we get 12 out of 20. The return to heel it could be just a touch faster coming back, four and a half out of five. You need 38 points to pass. You got 39 points. So we have a second leg on our PSA three, correct? And you are looking at your 2022 National Chief. Mike McMahon and Kai are the 2022 National PSA 3 champions. Awesome. Keep it going for him.